Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Scorpio. Thank you Lord God for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so... um. Scorpio, the, the cards are telling you to volunteer. Okay, volunteer how you feel, volunteer items, volunteer, um, help a person in need, um, get out there, be benevolent, uh, bring back that good karma to you. Also, it looks like prayer. And affirmations are getting you or getting you what you want. It's getting you on the path you want to be on. Because you have volunteer and then you have priest. So it's like because of your your ability to control yourself, to have chastity, to um, abstain from, uh, to uh, really delve into your spirituality, um, it looks like uh, prosperity and success is on the horizons for you, okay? And that could be in in love for you, all right? That could be in finding a new love. Um, yeah, finding a new love. But it's about you getting out there, okay? The need to um, get out there, um, have more fun in your life, more excitement. Because your social skills are becoming a little fuzzy, a little uncertain, you know, because you haven't put yourself around other people. It says that you could possibly get out there and meet a twin flame, a like-minded soul. Um, it says also that maybe some relationship that you were already engaged in, some twin flame uh, relationship that you were engaged in caused you a lot of grief, but it also caused you um, to do the work on yourself, to put the work in on yourself, to learn about yourself. Um, in this relationship, it was a lot of work. It looks it looks as if someone was trying to control you, okay, in this union here. And now you're free. You're away from this person. They were trying to control you in this union, in this marriage or this long-lasting relationship. Um, but uh, they lied all the time, especially to women. So if you were dealing with a man, it was, of course, a lying to you, a woman. Um, this person just doesn't have respect for women, okay? And maybe they've said it or, or they've said it through their actions, okay? This person likes to keep up a lot of drama. And they like people fighting over them or vying for their attention. Um, now that you're away from this person, they're in deep contemplation about um, what to do next. Maybe even daydreaming about you. It says that if you monetize some hobby or engage in some hobby, you can again meet a significant people or people that will be significant in your life, a, a love of your life. Um, you can also have success and prosperity with that money card coming out. You just need to understand that the person you are with is will always be for the streets there might be someone in your energy where you feel like they just have too many children for you and um you're sorry about that or they feel like you have too many children for them and that's okay too because preference is preference right it looks like um a more committed relationship is on the horizons for you uh you have learned in this journey of life about yourself, what it is you need to, ex um, what you should uh, accept in a relationship or from a person and, and what is expected of you, okay? You, you learn that you are too given or too naive or too conforming to. Um, it makes you sad at times, but it also added to your journey, your fortune, okay? So um, this is what I have for you. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of the text question, text your question to the number below. Also, donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. Thank you, Scorpio. Many blessings to you. Take care.